she won't be coming for Christmas again. She gave some excuse or other, did she say? The kids have a round robin football tournament that weekend. <coughs> so I asked her, what if it rains? And she said, Mum, it won't rain. Mum, it won't rain. So I said, what if it does? And she said, they play the games anyway. They play the games anyway. And then quickly said goodbye. goodbye. She sounded scared. Everybody's afraid of me now. Even my family. And they're right to be, I suppose. My mother kills everything she touches. This is not a figure of speech. <laughs> it started happening with her when my father got sick. Mum and Dad were closer than most couples. And as the cancer took him over, you could see the life draining out of her. Every time I went to visit, she looked more and more gone. Grey, then white, then transparent. You could see the veins beneath her skin, her bones, her teeth. A living ghost. I thought for a while she might even die before Dad did. My father died on a November night. November 7th. I was there in the hospital room with Mum and Martha. Mum was quietly crying and holding his hand. I thought how nice that was, you know. That someone would go all the way for you right down to your last breath. She wasn't sobbing. She wasn't making any noise at all. But the tears were running steady. Then Dad whispered something to Mum and he died. Right then her tears just stopped. Like a tap turned off. Her eyes closed and she stood up and left the room. blood starts flowing again. It sounds terrible, I know, but we all feel it. My wife used to tell me that I was a horrible person. How can you say that about your own mother? That poor sad woman gave birth to you. And she needs your love. She stopped saying that when I took her by the house don't understand that true love is the binding of two souls and it isn't a figure of speech. When his soul left his body and pulled mine with it, we're together right now where we belong. I just wish my body would figure it out. I know you're all going to judge me for saying what I'm about to say, but I want my mother to die. There's nothing left for her here. 
She's just dragging around some kind of curse. I want her to be at peace. I'm a ghost. I know that now. Not the type you read about in books. My spirit isn't haunting the earth. My body is. My husband spoke to me with the same he said to me on our wedding day. He said, come with me, dear. <laughs> 